Hey everyone, this is a video about the coding question I encountered last year in a coding interview. And since I saw this coding question on leak code the other day, I wanted to make a video about this. The problem is to convert Roman numerals to integers. So let me start with the basics. There are seven signs used in Roman numerals. And those signs have different values in the decimal system. For example, i is 1, v is 5, x is 10. L is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. Now let me show you some examples of how Roman numerals are interpreted. So if you have two i's, that's just the addition of 1 plus 1, which makes 2. Three i's is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which makes 3. Or for example, x and two i's is 10 plus 1 plus 1 which makes 12. And for this next example, you can um, go on with this principle and just read the number from left to right. Um, you interpret the x's as 10s and the v as 5 and the i's as 1s. And you end up with 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which makes 18. But now there are some special cases where you don't just add up numbers, but you subtract them. So for example, iv means that if the 5 and you subtract one from it because the i stands left of the v. You can extend this example to xiv, which makes 10, plus 5 minus 1, which is 14. In general, there are six special cases. Let me list them up on the right side here. So the special cases are 4, where the i is in front of v, and 9, where the i is in front of x, and um, the other special cases are 10 times 4, 10 times 9, and 100 times 4, and 100 times 9, where the same rules apply, but we're just um, in a different power of 10. So x in front of L makes 50 minus 10, which is 40. x in front of C is 100 minus 10, which makes 90. C in front of D is 500 minus 100, which is 400. And C in front of M is 900, which is 1000 minus 100. So these are all rules you need to find an algorithm that converts those numbers. And if you want to give this problem a try, you should pause this video here and continue after you've got your own solution. Okay, now let me just explain the simple algorithm you can use to convert um, Roman numerals to integers. So let's look at this example mdxci and what we're doing is we start at the first element so m has the value 1000 and the only thing we need to check is do we add 1000 or do we subtract 1000 in this case d right of m is 500 which is less than 1000 so we add 1000 then i moves to the right and we again look at d and x. d is 500 and x is 10. Because 10 is less than 500, we add 500. Now when i reaches the x, you will see that this comparison to the right neighbor makes a lot of sense. And it helps us to check for all the special cases because now x is 10 and c is 100. And since 100 is greater than x, we found a special case. And now we need to subtract this 10. Because xc is one of the special cases that results in 90. When we now look at the c, we again compare it to the right neighbor, which is i. And i is 1 in this case. So we can just add c. And look at the last element. Since we have nothing to compare the last element to, we always will add this 1 to our current sum. So we will just add 1. And our final result will be 1591. So now let us formalize this algorithm into some Python code. Let's start by defining a function that takes this Roman numeral as a string. And inside this function, let us define a dictionary that helps us to convert the values of the numerals. 
Then let us define a variable with the name integer. This will be the variable we will return at the end. And now let's just use this for loop to go from left to right in the Roman string. Inside this for loop, we can use our dictionary to get the value of the ith Roman numeral. And now we're ready to implement the decision between adding this value or subtracting this value. In the first part of this if condition, we look if the i plus one value is still in range of the Roman string. And in the second case of this if condition, we look if the next value is greater than the current one. And if the next value is greater than the current one, we found a special case. And in this special case, we always want to subtract the current value. In every other case, we just want to add the current value. At last, we just need to return this integer. And we're done with this problem. I think this is a very simple and short solution for this problem. And I hope this helped you somehow. If you have further questions or if you have suggestions of some interesting job interview questions or some coding challenges, then let me know in the comments. And I hope I see you in the next video.